right, fellas, welcome to another episode of Jay Bird Bassin. We got Channing out here. Um, we are fishing our first tournament of the 2020 season, our KBF tournament, over in Kentucky Lake. It's the first time Jack's been here. I ain't been here in about probably a year. And um, we got this brand new location I've never even been to. Kept out pretty close to here like multiple times, just never never launched out here. So uh, this is pretty much like practice day. We're out here just kind of scanning all this grass and stuff. Good looking spot. Good job, Channing. But uh, yeah, we're just uh, trying to figure out what they're biting on, where they're at, and uh, we come up with a pretty good game plan for Saturday and Sunday. So you guys stay tuned. Let's get them. There we go, baby. Oh, come on. Got one on a little, uh, little fluke with a paddle tail. I'm gonna change hooks. It's a worm hook. Probably why it didn't sit. Pig baby, we're asking their basics all day. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, guys, welcome back. We had a pretty decent day today. Had fun. Anyway, we caught a caught a couple of fish. Didn't really develop a solid pattern, but uh, we do believe they are chasing the shad. So we are looking for that reaction by tomorrow. Uh, it's supposed to rain pretty hard in the morning, so we're gonna we've been rigging up this afternoon, planning for that. Um, pretty much got a good good game plan. We're just going to hit it hard in the morning, so we'll see y'all out there.
Hey, baby. <laughs> that new blank check that I, I bought. Guys, check out this freaking lure right here. Look at this thing. Look at the colors on that bad boy. That thing is awesome. I just keep flipping, man. Every time I catch one, it starts raining. Crazy. 14 and a quarter. Dude. That was a good one. God dang it. six right there. my camera's foggy it come a freaking flood today but uh we got five uh last i checked we were in sixth place we have about uh, let me see we have about an hour and a half left I'm trying to upgrade so um i think my smallest fish i have like three 13 and a quarters so we're just trying to move up from there and jump up in those slots man
right, fellas, so the uh, first tournament this morning went pretty good. Uh, we come out with 13th place. We, um, we sat in six for a while there and uh, actually finished the tournament in, like, I think sixth place, but then a couple guys were sandbagged on us and uh, submitted their fish at the very end of the day. So uh, dropped us down to 13th. Um, this will be our practice day or practice afternoon right here for our tournament in the morning. Pretty nice looking cove back here, a bunch of lay downs, grass, deep water towards the uh, main lake. So uh, we're just gonna kinda scan a bunch of areas this afternoon. Uh, just flip around some of these bushes, see, what's, see if anything's out here. Try to locate some fish, man, and uh, hopefully in the morning, um, it would get on them pretty fast. So, uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing this afternoon, and I'll just stay tuned. We're gonna try to catch us on. So, so far, what we're seeing, a creek channel over there, and then there's shad busting up all in this grass. Looks like it's pretty shallow over there. You can see the mud line. See all them shad busting up around that grass? Look at all that. It's gonna be the money spot in the morning, I think. All right, so this is a pretty cool spot. I mean, it's actually deep back here too. That gum, they're about three and a half, four foot deep. And uh, there's a lot of brush and a little creek right through here. Not too bad. Alright fellas, it's going to be uh, our little afternoon practice for our second tournament. We, uh, I think we made a good move, or, hell, Channing did, <laughs> made a good move to come back here. Because this spot is just loaded up with bait fish. I mean, we caught bass back to back in this little cove back here. I mean, same time, it's crazy. But, um, yeah man, we're coming straight back there in the morning probably gonna hit this cove hit the next cove there's some good points over there lots lots of fish man got a lot of spots a lot of waypoints marked out that's what's gonna happen that's the way it's gonna roll we're gonna tear them up i mean guys just the the two fish we caught right here i mean they were probably 16s 15 16 Man, and this fella right here on the bank just reeled in probably like a 14 or 15. Yeah. Looking forward to it. It's going to be a good day. We'll see y'all out there. Keep her there, homies. Sixteen in the
working out today for you, Three down. Thirteen three quarters. All right, boy, we're gonna run through this grass a couple more times, see if we can't pick up a limit. How about that morning bike, guys? Good lord. Baby, stay on. All right. I only got number four here. All right, boys. Thirteen inches. Think he's gonna measure? Yeah, at least. Nine inches, man. Nine inches. Well, guys, we got an hour left. I got four fish on the board. One fish I can't submit because I ain't got no cell phone service. So, uh, sun's dead above us. No shade to be found. Here's some shade right here, actually. But uh, bite is really, really slow. I hadn't, get, I, hadn't, I hadn't been bit in probably 45 minutes, so it's, it's pretty rough. But we're gonna try to grind out this last fish. And I'm telling you, if I catch this fish, I'm going straight to their service and just submit my five and get out of here. <laughs> it's, it's insane, man. in Kentucky Lake, man. That was fun. Golly, that was fun. Um, totally not what I expected. I mean, to be honest with you, without any practice days besides that, you know, first half a day of practice, um, I feel like we did a good job going out there and figuring out what they're biting on real quick and what's going on with the water and the fish and bait fish and all that. Um, but man, really, really surprised me. Uh, we come out with 13th on the first tournament and then eighth place on the uh, second tournament. And I'm overly excited about both of those, um, both of those placings there. But just to go over kind of, kind of each day briefly, uh, that first day, you know, it, it stormed like crazy. Um, you know, the morning bite, I'm not going to say the morning bite was fire or anything, but it was, it, it was pretty good. You know, I mean, I was doing a lot of flipping. So my idea was, you know, it's been raining, so hit these creek banks and stuff like that to, um, you know, catch them out of the grass and cover, and that seemed to work out pretty good. I can say that I'm getting, I'm getting a lot better and more confident in fishing in the rain. <laughs> I've done, I've done it so much, and every time it starts a downpour like that, I kind of, I kind of shy away from uh, fishing that hard. But I'm, I'm telling you, I caught pouring, pouring down rain. I caught fish with a, uh, just a. Uh, little eighth ounce weighted swim bait, man, out of grass, and the other one I caught on a, um, you know, a lipless crankbait. And, uh, but it kind of surprised me, because I usually, I usually, you know, stick to spinner baits and chatter baits and stuff, but I kind of stuck with my game plan, kind of went with something with a little bit, a little darker, because the water was kind of muddy. So I went with something a little darker color. Uh, it's got a little vibration on it, not too much. And uh, that seemed to work out for me pretty good. But that first day, you know, I stayed in that uh, little creek channel there all day in that little small cove. 
I fished back and forth all day. And what I was really hoping for is hit the back of that cove, catch a limb in that grass. And as you saw, like, had two nice ones or three, two nice ones and one other fish get off that morning. So I could have had a limit at like 10 o'clock, man, or even earlier than that, probably like eight o'clock. So after I lost that third fish, you know, I got to really studying my tackle. <laughs> um, um, I don't know, everything was tied right, hooks were sharp, nothing was bent. But uh, I did end up swapping style hooks on that swim bait. And um, ever since then, I hadn't lost a fish. So the whole weekend, you know, especially day two, I fished that same same lure over some grass and I didn't lose that one fish. So it had to be the hook. So I'm taking those hooks out of my box just to let y'all know. So um, moving on to day two, as y'all saw, the morning bite was on fire. And um, man, that was just amazing. I mean, it was it was fish after fish after fish. I mean, I couldn't even stop in time enough to submit any fish because I knew I knew it was gonna be a clear day. And so, as soon as that sun got above those trees and it started warming up, that, that bite was going to be off. And it damn sure did, too. Um, that bite lasted probably two hours, an hour maybe. And uh, I couldn't get anything else to bite in that grass. But I was hoping to catch a limit right there. But uh, three fish I landed, man, that was they, they were good ones. Um, I fished that grass, you know, back and forth probably, probably three times. I did three passes over it. And I decided to go hit some ledges. That didn't really work out. I did catch one fish on a ledge on a crankbait, but he was like eight or nine inches or something. But from then, uh, just started hitting those um, those coves, those two coves that we found that was loaded up with fish. I had waypoints all over my mapping. Um, got out there, hit all my waypoints, and there was not one daggum fish. All my schools were gone, like just overnight. They were just gone, dude. It was insane. Uh, so, pretty much didn't spend too much time on those points. I did graph them a little bit while I was out there, but I was kind of pressing for time. You know, by the time I made it, you know, back to those sloughs and stuff. But you know, water temp was rising extremely. <laughs> so I mean, it was hot that day. Uh, went back in the first slough, spinner bay, slow rolling up a daggum, pretty much halfway down the slough. Um, coming up from deep water, snag one up there that just just barely scored with like a 13. I think it was just, I think it was straight 13 inches. And uh, after that, man, you know, I golly, I grinded and grinded and grinded on shaded areas, brush, over, you know, lay lay downs, banks. You know, I hit everything that had shade that I could find. I, I was praying that I was gonna come around the corner and see a dock, but <laughs> there was no docks out there at all. So, uh, the only other option I had was to go fish deep, and there was something, man, there was so much boat traffic out there, because there was a pretty pretty big ramp right there in that, in that first slough. And, uh, man, once uh, about, about 11 o'clock come around, dude, it, it was jet skis and that uh, inner tubes. And it, I mean, it was full out summertime, let's party, let's get it. It was wild out there. But, um, I didn't, I didn't even fool with, you know, anything deep because it was, it was for one dangerous, and I mean, I couldn't stay still enough to even, even find anything. My daggum graph was like a daggum, like I was going over like mountain top or something. I couldn't even graph anything. So uh, at the last hour, I decided to head back towards the grass. I caught fish that morning, hoping to be something back there. That was surprisingly the only grass mat in that whole little big slough back there that whole big cove man but um went back there fished the crap out of it and uh nothing so wound up with four fish eighth place pretty happy about that <laughs> and that just tells you like i mean there were some tough anglers out there but i just tells you how tough that day was i mean to finish eighth place in a kbf trail series tournament on kentucky lake in tennessee that um that speaks volumes about what the field looked like that day. I mean, good lord. I got a new uh, little travel deal. I don't, stay, I don't have to stay in hotels anymore. We have taken a 24 foot enclosed trailer, built it, built a sleeping system inside, a shower, sink, refrigerator, and the whole nine yards. It's sweet. So you guys comment on that below and let me know what you think about that. 
Um, man, that thing was nice. It'll freeze you out too. That thing on air conditioning was that thing was on point, boys. So that was the uh, pretty much the last KBF Trail Series tournament and the only one that I fished this whole season. Corona put all the Trail Series to a halt pretty much. The next big tournament we're gonna have is Chickamauga, Tennessee, with the uh, the Bassmaster tournament down there. That's gonna be a blast. Uh, I'm hoping I'm hoping this month to get up there and practice some. That's gonna be over in, uh, in August. So. Um, and then after that, our next local tournament is going to be Cooter's Pond, uh, July 30th. It's going to be a Thursday afternoon. It's going to be hot. It's going to be so daggum hot. And uh, you never know. Maybe we'll get a, a big storm to blow through like we did last time and catch five fish. <laughs> anyway, that's the uh, that's what's happening. That's what's coming up. So thanks for checking out this video. Like and subscribe. Comment below on... Um, Anything I could do different or hell just comment about the tournaments, man. We got a blast out there. I'd, I'd like to see You know some people comment that actually fixed the tournament with me that I didn't see out there But uh, just let me know what y'all think. This is uh, Jason Smitherman with Jaybird Bassin and we'll see y'all out there next time